Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the latest shaft from Fujikura 2020, the Matore X. So it's available in two models. Uh, without going into too much detail about the construction of the shaft, there's two models, uh, an F1 and an F3. Now the F1 is only available in S and X and it's uh, a little bit stiffer tip, a little bit stiffer all the way down really, designed for the harder hitter and um, available in, in 6, 7, 8, S and X, F1. That's that one there. The F3 is a little softer profile, a little higher launching. So this is more of a mid to high launch, the F3. Um, available in, in R2, R, S and X all the way through in various weights. So F1 for lower launch, F3 for higher launch. Uh, they are slightly higher in the balance point, so when I put them in my driver, which is only 190 gram head, um, they swing weight out at about D0, so I might add a little bit of head weight and, and see how they go. This is the shaft that is designed for speed. If you want to hit it further, then this is the one that they're talking about. Awesome graphics, very smart looking shaft. I'm going to go and hit some shots soon and see how we go. Okay, so because of the higher balance point in these shafts, I ended up putting a little bit of weight in the head. Uh, it's probably something I've now got to look at of updating the driver, getting to a heavier head, something like Sim or Maverick, something like that. The old 190 gram head just sort of doesn't cut it very much anymore. So anyway, um, I had a real good hard go at these shafts. Really, really good. Numbers are very interesting. Um, definitely, I could feel the stiffness in the F1. It did feel stiffer. It sort of made me get in behind it a little bit more and want to hit it harder just to see what I could get out of it. You'll see with my with my distance and um, my launch numbers, all very interesting uh, statistics. So we'll have a look at those in a sec. Okay, so up the top, I've got the F3. Down below, I've got the F1. Now you see the total distance, 247, 249. It's a little bit longer, 20 metres longer actually than last week's Kirkland Pro V1 test. But I have been trying to increase my speed. We're up at 105.2 and 106. So I've definitely up three or four miles an hour, that's for sure, on average. Uh, producing very similar ball speeds. Really similar spin numbers actually. Slightly, slightly higher. But, you know, most of that gets down to strike really. Um, the interesting bit was I launched the, the F3 lower than the F1. But as I said, like it feels so much stiffer. So it's getting in behind it more and just trying to hit it up more. So here we go, I was 6.6 .6 angle of attack up on the F1 compared to 5.2 up on the F3. I just felt like I needed to get it up in the air for it to go. And 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 as you can see by the, you know, for me for that distance, 249.3, that, that's a good distance for me. So great results. Okay, you can see the results with these really high ball speeds, really high speeds in general. I mean, this, this shaft is designed for speed. So if you want to get a little bit more speed, well worth a try. We've got these uh, available for demo in, um, in a various number of weights and flexes for you. If you want to try them at home, go to www.sydneygolftech.com.au. Try them out. Um, slightly counterbalanced, beautiful smooth feel. It'll accommodate those heavy heads of today. That's the most important thing. These heads are getting up closer to 200 grams. So you need something that's a little bit higher balance point. 
maybe the Matori X is for you. So thanks very much everyone for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, click on subscribe and we'll see you soon.